Statistics and probability is brought to you by the math teacher. Next to the mean of the sampling distribution of means is the variance and standard deviation of the sampling distribution. The variance sigma squared sub x of the sampling distribution of means can be computed by the following formula, where sigma squared sub x equals the variance of the sampling distribution of means, bar x equals sample mean, mu sub x equals the mean of the sampling distribution of means, n equals total number of observations. The standard deviation sigma sub x is the square root of the variance. Now let's have example 1. Consider the population consisting of the values 1, 2, 5, and 8. List all the possible samples of size 2 that can be drawn from the population with replacement. Then, compute the mean bar x for each sample. Likewise, find the mean mu sub x, variance sigma squared sub x, and the standard deviation, sigma sub x of the sampling distribution of means. And for the solution, let's construct table 1. Here, we are going to solve for the population mean, population variance, and the population standard deviation, using the values, 1, 2, 5 and 8, with the population size equal to 4. Let's solve for the population mean, by taking the summation of x, divided by the population size. And also let's solve for the population variance, by taking the summation of the quantity, x minus mu squared, divided by the population size. Thus, the population mean is 4, the population variance is 7.5, and the population standard deviation is square root of 7.5, equals 2.74. And now let's construct table 2, mean of the sampling distribution of means, using 1, 2, 5 and 8, with replacement, where the sample size is 2 and the number of observations is 16. From the table, we get the summation of the sample means equal to 64. Dividing 64 by the number of observations 16, we get the mean of the sampling distribution of means, mu sub x equals 4.0. Table 3 will help us solve the variance of the sampling distribution of means with replacement, where the sample size is 2 and the number of observation is 16. On the first and fourth columns are the number of observations which is 16. On the second and fifth columns are the sample means. On the third and sixth columns are the squares of the difference between the sample mean and the mean of the sampling distribution of means. And on the last column contains the summation of the squares of the difference between the sample mean and the mean of the sampling distribution of means, this is equal to 60. In table 1, we determine the variance sigma squared equals 7.5 and the standard deviation sigma equals 2.74 of the population. Now let's find the variance sigma squared sub x and the standard deviation sigma sub x of the sampling distribution of means. And as we can see in the solution, the variance sigma squared of the sampling distribution of means is 60 divided by 16, which is equal to 3.75 and the standard deviation sigma sub x of the sampling distribution of means is the square root of 3.75, which is equal to 1.94.
If we divide the variance of the population equals 7.5, by the sample size equals 2, we get 3.75, which is equal to the variance sigma squared sub x, of the sampling distribution of means. Note that the variance of the sampling distribution of means, sigma squared sub x, is equal to the population variance sigma squared, divided by the sample size n sub s. Example 2 shows its application. If the sample size is n equals 2, and the population variance, sigma squared, equals 8.75, what is the variance, sigma squared sub x, of the sampling distribution of means? Take a look at the preceding solution. The square root of the variance, of the sampling distribution, sigma sub x, is the standard deviation, of the sampling distribution of means. This is also called the standard error of the mean. The variance of the sampling distribution of means sigma squared sub x, is equal to the population variance, sigma squared, divided by the sample size, n sub s. Thus the standard error, can be computed by using the following formula. Let's use the given formula in example 3. If the sample size is n equals 3, and the population variance, sigma squared, equals 8.5, what is the standard error of the mean? And here's the solution. Let's summarize. The variance of the sampling distribution of means can be determined by using the formula. Sigma squared sub x, equals the sum of the squared difference, between the sample mean, and mu sub x, divided by the number of observations. The variance of the sampling distribution of means is also equal to the variance of the population divided by the sample size. The standard deviation of the sampling distribution is also called the standard error of the mean. For your performance task. Consider the population consisting the values, 2, 5, 7, 8. Construct Table 1. Find the population mean, population variance and population standard deviation. Construct Table 2. List all the possible samples, of size 2, which can be drawn with replacement, from the population, find each sample mean, and solve for the mean, of the sampling distribution of means. Construct Table 3. Find the variance, and the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of means.